Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and thanks for joining us today. Again, we are going to work on cheap and cheerful SKX aftermarket case. It comes with double dome sapphire crystal, black chapter ring with white markers. We will keep it as it is. Hundred and twenty click unidirectional bezel with two tiered groove pattern. SH crown is positioned at four o'clock. It comes with pre-fitted stem suitable for Seiko NH movement and screw down solid case back. All the parts on this case are compatible with SKX parts except crown. We will be changing this bezel to 120 clicks unidirectional Quan H type bezel from Namuki Mods, which is black PVD with polished finishing. We're gonna use this Explorer 2 style stainless steel insert from Namuki Mods, as this is flat insert. We do not need to change the crystal. Hands we will be using here is Sumo 3rd generation handset. We will be changing the day date wheel to black. This is the black PVD crown pre-fitted with NH temp from our another PVD SKX set. This unique fume frostic dial is from JDM Ice Frost Limited Edition Baby Tuna SBDY053. Look at this texture. It's a little bit different from what we used to see on any Seiko dials. It's really, really cool and gorgeous. It looks like the dial is frozen. Super cool. Before we move on, we would like to thank all of you who subscribe to our channel. If you haven't done yet, please hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell to make sure you get notified when we release our new videos. Thank you again and welcome to NKSD channel. Let's get started. Let's walk on the heart of the watch. We are using NH36 Hacking and Hand Winding 24 Jewels Automatic Movement. As usual, check Dedic function to ensure it is working properly. Main challenge of this project, especially for the new model, will be the changing of Dedic disc. First, place the movement into brass movement holder. We are using very thin and fine flat head screwdriver to lift up the C-clip gently.
Then remove the day wheel with reticle. Now we need to remove these four screws so we can remove the date dial guard. It will be a good idea to hold the date dial guard so that it won't spring away. Remove the date jumper and remove the date wheel. Now, we just need to reverse the process. Replace black date wheel and date jumper. Put back the date dial guard and four screws. Before we move on, it is better to check and make sure date function is working properly. Then install intermediate wheel and the day wheel. Replace the C-clip, use tweezer and press it down. After that, check the date function again. Use the dial feet to align the dial, place it on movement firmly. After that, check the date function again. Press our hand first. Then minute hand. Check the spacing and make sure hour and minute hands land firmly and accurately on every hour. Especially at 3, 6, 9, in 12 hours. Apply second hand. 
Now that the hard assembly is completed, and let's move on to the case. Price top bezel out from case set. Place new bezel, align and press it in. Check to ensure that the bezel is fitted properly. Remove the dummy stem and clean the watch head again. Make sure there is no dust left behind. Case the movement. Press movement properly and return the crown to the case. Lubricate case back gasket and install case back on. Apply double-sided adhesive on the bezel insert. Carefully check the alignment to make sure there is no misalignment of the insert properly. At this stage, we can see the watch as the whole. We have to check all the alignment and operation again before we tighten up the case back properly and call it finalized.
If you found this video is entertaining and helping in your modification process, please give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. You are welcome to discuss further on what you want to know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and we we'll see you again next time.